Hello YouTube! This is the Dragonheart and the Dragonheart is me. I am back with another Kingdom Hearts Unchained X Metal tier list. So, y'all didn't see my last post. Um, yeah, I stopped off at um, Mini, still over to death, and then after that it's the Sid Metals, which is an evolved metal. So I'm just going to get right on to the next list, which is Phil. Now, rules for this tier list. I'm going off of base stats alone. Level 1. Oh, that's the set. But level 1. And I'm doing it based off of that. Combined with the bonuses for leveling up. What their ability is and actually does. And their effectiveness in the actual game. Now, Phil. I don't use him. But I can see his usefulness. But he is limited purely for strength as compared to um, Vivi, Aerith, and Diz are universal. But at the same time, it's the same exact stats, but just more limited. So on that note, where did I... So on that note, I will put them under C+. Plus. Useful, yes, but if it weren't for the, but, but the fact that it's purely attack based is the only issue. Okay, so next up is the White Rabbit. Head Bonfire. Same exact ability as Phil, except he is speed based. I really don't know what else to say. I I rarely get this medal. Um, it end it is star on. You can get them as a random drop, but there are just so many better ones. I'm going to put him down in C tier because I first of all. Okay, I'm not, I haven't gotten to her yet, but I will. Because there's a there's a particular metal that I personally use who is a boat ton better than the white rabbit. And the big thing I have that I don't put them lower is, is that it's for one turn instead of one attack. Make sure you what read that carefully. Kingdom Hearts Eric. Same exact ability. You can get them rarely. Except she's more of a strength base for a magic tier. Not really all that um good. Again. Again, there's more metals that are a lot better. I spell that right. Yeah, I did. I actually did. That's what I'm done. Good me. Alright, so after her is Leon. Kingdom Hearts 2 Leon, or as I like to call or as you as some people can call him Kingdom Hearts Leon with the gun blade in attack. So Leon A was the magic base, Leon B is a more attack is attack base. And he's actually a defensive base, which is really surprising. And then another Eris Arcan. Except he has it specifically the more damage or higher your HP. Which is good for like when you're um I'm having the first round about. And essentially especially good if you have a cure base on him. So if you use him, your first attack, your first turn, that's when his damage deals the most. Only problem is, is that in the late game, he can be kind of long. He can be kind of bad. So on that note, I honestly excuse me, gentlemen. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I had a phone call on my ends, but 
Yeah, nothing you can do about it. I am actually going to put him in the B tier. Because his ability is good, but unfortunately, late game. I'm thinking about him in the whole spectrum. Single base attack, and he and he only does it based on your HP, while Cloud is flat. Is flat damage. Think about it like this. Think of Cloud like a straight row with Leon like a ver like a slanted fill. If you lose. If you have constantly good HP all the time, you're, you're golden with him. But at the same time, the bosses, you got, he's there constantly chewing off your HP, multiple enemies that you can't beat all with a single hit. That's just my reasoning. Okay, next up is Daisy. I cannot stop getting these her metal. And it's ridiculous. Um she is she is the mid-level healer. Um but unfortunately but she is speed based, so it really depends on if you want to use mini or daisy. There is no attack based healer that I know of for thought but not as good as a mini but like she can like heal you up a third a third of your HP if you like halfway down so I'm putting her in B minus tier with my E and Daisy or Alright, next up is the Genie of the Lamp. Throwing a big shout out to Robin Williams. No one could have done your voice any better. Rest in peace. Um, one, th one damage to for three gauges on purely paralyzed targets. Everyone here knows about my issue with um, damage based on of um, static conditions. It is not good. You have to have that specific condition to do it, and not every single thing is affected by status conditions. But those stats and tiers, I'm putting in, in C+. Plus. I don't know. 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 Okay, okay, okay. I don't know. Okay, I don't know. I don't Okay, so I'm going to take this. I need your video to make. Now we get on to the um, event medals. Judy Hawks. If you see an E, it means either event or you gotta get him from somewhere else. I got in the late ball game, so I did not get her. Raises strength for one tier for one turn. Damages all targets for three gauges. I can see that being useful, but again, it's an event medal. Um. Fairly good stats, and it was only released in North America, but it's, it's bad. Plus, you had, to, you had to do the event, which I am not, I am not a fan of these events, especially um, the ones where you had to win it in order to get the medal. You had to place top tier to get the medal, which you only gave away a couple hundred of these. That's the new one. Yeah. But it does have its uses. With that being said, if you have her, I'm putting her in B plus tier.
And then Nick Wild the I don't question the names. I'm just going with I'm just going with it. Same exact thing, except it's power based. Okay. Again, my same issue. Event metal, you had to be there to get him. Just uh, now there's a bigger selection of um of attack based um of attack based support medals, so I'm putting him in B tier. If you have him, good. But there are a lot better things for him at this point. Yeah, when it gets to the um, later part of this, you're going to see a lot more A tiers. So I'm not doing this on purpose. It's just... Next up, uh, Huey Dewey Louie. It's an involvement. It's a, it's a guaranteed at least 20 levels on anything. So Next up is the event Timeless River. Two hits inflicting a fixed amount of damage regardless of defense. So this is essentially a very hyper, a very overpowered um three well okay um three hits that inflict damage no matter what. So if you don't know my beast and Yuffie medals, well I mean look at the amount of damage for all things. That's gold. That there is gold. 2,520 damage for all targets for three gauges. I wish it was lower, but... It's not, unfortunately. But I had actually had fun watching the Young Time of River um, cartoons, so... I feel off. Honored because I am putting him in A tier. Unfortunately, he's an event. He's an event medal. You can't get him anymore. So that's my only issue. Is you have to get. Is you have to have the medal. But he is still. All right. Next up is Black Coat Mickey. This is the medal I constantly share to all my friends. I f love this medal. Why? Amazing stats. Deals a hit with no attributes, meaning this nullifies any defense plus, defense plus materials and automatically gets every strength plus. So here's what I'm talking about. Since it's strength based, it automatically gets that strength plus that I was talking about in the status materials, but it's not affected by the defense boost of the enemies. So you get a plus in attack, but they don't but they can't be affect but their defense is nullified. I love that. And this thing currently is my strongest attacker with um, the way it is right now. Actually, head. 27,000 damage, period. No questions asked. There are, um, I'm, Really good metal to share with. I do with myself. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is all I have time for today. Please like, comment, and subscribe in the in the um comment section below. And quite frankly, have a nice day.